Welcome back on the VST channel. One UI 6, the Beta 9 is here. S23 Ultra, and there's so many updates this time, I figured it out. I'm changing my wallpaper all the time so that I visually know which bed I'm using. But enough is enough, guys. This here is the S23 Ultra. The latest Beta 9 is ZWJM. Again, the same security patch from the 1st of October. There might be some new changes. So if I'm to go to the settings and show you guys the home screen updated to the version 15.0.0.1.2.4.3. I also get to agree one more time the Samsung policy for my Samsung account. So it seems that Samsung are really trying to push some of their apps really now for the final build. And how, how can we tell this now when I go inside, guys? I have already 20 updates. Voice recorder, Samsung Music, Samsung account, reminder, like a lot of these things, right? Like not curve, of course, and entity. AR zone, Bixby wake up, connection to Windows, Samsung notes. So a lot of these things now, these Samsung apps are being updated to fit in with the latest One UI 6 Beta 9. And hopefully this is gonna be the latest beta. And by the way, shooting again in 4K 60 FPS, it's not my favorite thing to do, but the only reason for me doing this is so that you can really anticipate that sweet animation UI or that stutter. But without any further ado, let me dig in some of the animations. So the first thing I always do is like that. And I'm going to do this 10 times to just understand if Samsung are going to let me down one more time. It's not going to be for the first time, right? Or no, yeah, I think doing this a bit better okay this animation here people always think that we are over doing these videos and we're not guys this phone costs a lot of money it should perform flawless we have phones in the medium tier that really perform better in terms of animation so we just need samsung to fix the s23 ultra and really make it shine and now guys let me just open the folder so folder opening no issues pay attention to what happens to the blur on the background and this is why guys i have this very nice beautiful wallpaper now if you because i know you're going to ask me guys where am i getting those nice beautiful wallpapers luna wallpapers again created by matthias eckhart who also created wall road so wall road and luna wallpapers go download them they're not so expensive and then you're going to get access to these 1000 beautiful wallpapers that are not ai generated they're all drawn in hand like in the old good days so for the opening and closing, will get us this nice blur, all right? And I kind of like it. So I think Samsung changed this at least three times. Sometimes the blur were less, sometimes the blur were more. And also when going inside the recent menu and outside, I think this, they just adjusted this. But what is very important is to understand what is gonna happen when we swipe from the bottom to activate the quick settings, okay? Now, you know that there is this trick, I can just do it from the center and get to here and my notifications or I can play like a Bose and do it here and directly have everything on the screen. Now, how does this work, guys? You just need to go there and there is something called quick settings, instant access. So the moment you get this, then you have your game. So far, so good. Uh, let me just try to kill some of these applications, kill some of these notifications. All right, and by applications, I mean I have them a lot, so I'm just going to close them all. And now, guys, we're going to be starting the first very real test. Um, this is just trying to open and close some of the Samsung stock application. And by the way, there is something interesting, guys. Pay attention when I open an application and immediately when I go outside, boom, we had like this sweet icon jump. One more time. Okay. Boom. You notice this? One more time. I think that's kind of new or at least somehow improved, wasn't able to get it or at least notice in the previous beta, it was probably there since 1 UI 2.1, but okay, apologize, I was not able to see this. Now I think I'm just seeing this for the first time, so that's why I'm just drawing your attention. Let's open Twitter, okay? And now let's close Twitter. And I think even the folders, they have the same concept or not. One more time, folder opening, no. Folders just stay locked, but when you open something from the home screen, your app will bounce. And this will happen also here, see? One more time bounce all right and by the way you can just see the fluidity last video i did on a one year beta 8 i was really very impressed and i didn't really lie to you that it was probably the first time that i saw my samsung working like this until now even with one year 5.1 it wasn't like that all right see here op opening some folders from the top of the screen opening the clock, exiting it. So it is becoming more and more stable, I hope so. But there was something that was not working in the previous version and this was the widgets. And now I think it works somehow abruptly, I think, because see here guys, like you can close them 
and it's very ugly like they just close like a regular up and i have a few other widgets here i want to show you like okay this is the spotify one so opening the widgets going outside this doesn't look nice to me guys i'm not sure what you think let me know down in the comments one more time all right let's just try to open something random here so let me just go into the library close it open close it now i didn't even register my sign here so all right one more time let's open this one close it this one close it so they changed it and i have a feeling it's not yet perfect see but maybe this is how much they can do right and let me show you also with the weather like weather opening the weather browsing boom exit open exit it's just kind of abrupt and it yeah, it doesn't really feel right, but probably that's going to be like Samsung take on this. Let's open some applications, guys. Not a problem for this phone. Camera, you know, going back and forth. All right. Now let me just try to open the camera several times. One more time. Open the camera. Open it. All right. Open, open the camera and go to the back camera or the front camera. Change the portrait mode. Yeah. I still see these little stutters, guys. It's never perfect. It's never probably gonna be perfect, at least until we reach One UI 6.1. I am at a point where I believe that all hope will be lost because again, it works better compared to how it used to be, but it's not perfect. And by not being perfect, I mean there is not this level of consistency that I'm looking for, which means I wanna execute one animation 100 times and get it perfect, maybe like nine times out of 100. This is still not there. Uh, but I hope that this will only improve. Now, let me know what you think down below in the comments, guys. I'm going to show you a bit more inside the settings with all the bounces. Else, it feels a bit already like a premium phone. But I believe that Samsung really should push this to the limit. And by limit, I just want to have a normal operating phone, guys. So, share your opinions about the One UI 6 Beta 9. And let me know if you want me to test something else. VST over and bye.